we'll come back to Let's Play SpongeBob's not just Carpentos. So, we're collecting some stuff that our newfound teammate, Mr. Krabs, is going to let us get. I should use the lawnmower thing to get the enemies now, though. Unfortunately, cannot. Take that. But there is something we want to pick up here. Whatever. Go away. So, curiosity, do these things stay gone once you destroy them? Come on. Sun drop, please. Yeah, the seaweed's still gone. They all along with the look like bulls. Come on, I was trying to destroy that. This guy, though, I don't feel like dealing with. It's gonna take too many hits. Playing this on hard might be a bad idea. With all this. With how it just means I have to hit enemies more. As far as I can tell. Okay. Um, there's a little bit of a problem with my experience bar right now. <laughs> like, there's a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap. That's interesting. Not sure why that's there. There's just a hole in the bar. So I don't know if there's gonna be anything I want the high jump for from this point onwards, but I've seen lots of seaweed. So I'll switch back to Squidward and not Squidward. Patrick and Krabs. One problem being, I don't actually remember where the stuff was uh, that I wanted to mow through. So I'm not there, because that was actually not to the museum. When I think about it, that was just the next area. Although I believe there was seaweed here in this area, regardless. Yeah, here we go. Takes a lot of time to shoot through that stuff. Okay. Makes it a lot easier through some of these areas, though. And it still takes some time because you walk more slowly and all that, but at the same time. I really like being able to do those. Because you defeat enemies instantly. Alright, it's so just some optional content up here. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, hey, we filled in that hole. On our experience bar. This makes us somewhere new. Not expected. Plot thickens. Can I mow through this guy? Yep, good job. you're here, but sure. So I might need a high jump or something here. Well, that's what that guy does. That guy does to attack. I haven't even given him the chance to attack before now. So the hitbox on this is a little strange. It's not where you expect it to be. Or at least where I'd expect it to be. But for now, let's just do what we can with these two. I guess now we need SpongeBob Patrick to progress from here. Hi. Oh, this picture against grabs your face. Yeah, yeah. And there was the amulet. Wait. But we just said we're gonna take you there. Our proof is gonna be taking you there. Uh, what? Like the amulet? Or the bus? Itself? What's going on here? Okay, so it will be convenient, though, to break this little floor here, because this will mean we can get back up here easily later. Let's go back to this duo. First, make sure there's nothing more we were missing in the previous area. I didn't explore the left side. I don't remember if there was anything there to mow through. And if not, then we'll move on to the next area. Oh, there's a lot more stuff in this part than I remembered. I forgot how much stuff there I had to go through here on this route. So enemies. It took a while to get through. Well, that does mean experience. Okay. 
No way. So it's going up here. Actually, was this not where... I feel like this was actually where we found crabs before. Yes, yeah, was, wasn't it? So, do we do... No, we've already gone to this part, then. Oh, come on. Alright, in that case, we're good. This part. Let's go on through here. Quicker route. Come on. Go away. Seems like I'm invincible or something when I'm using this attack, too, which is also nice. Okay, so make sure. So we can do one last check in this area to make sure there's nothing we're missing. And then go on to the next area where we use crabs to do it, or to get to the areas we know we we're missing. Catching my jump. Very bothersome enemy. What are you doing? Dropping off like that. Got a friend. So I'd probably be off to the right there, I think. Well, not, not, not quite, actually. Not with crabs. Come on. Can I not? I can't do it on a slope. Why is that? Game. Your limitations sometimes. Come on. I can't use the attack here. Come on. <laughs> I hit a wall, basically. Jeez. You really can't program moving on a slope? Oh, man, I wish... Moving this game is not so awkward. Okay, well, I can't really jump across there. Is that. Yeah, I do need save for that part, anyways, I'm pretty sure. So we can just jump off to the museum and we'll be good. I don't think we're missing anything. Alright. So this is the pair that we need. Because we need to break through some seaweed again. For some reason, the museum. Alright. Me be. Come on. Why is this not working? Sometimes I just can't use a given attack. This game is not especially responsive at times. Because it has really arbitrary rules, seemingly, as to when you can get can't use certain attacks. All the stairs here prevent me from using the lower attack like I've been using up until now for some reason. This part of the game is actually longer than I expected it to be. Man, I forgot I even had a normal attack. I haven't been using it at all. Just kind of use it instinctively. Okay. So I was off to the right earlier. Where's the reason? There we go. This wasn't letting me. Alright, so we just run up here. Stairs once you get to them. And by that I mean these stairs. <laughs> Lots of stairs here to be seen. Now I can eat, eat through here. Why do I need multiple? Okay. So, storage room. For some reason. Boss music. Oh, hi. Wait a minute. No, this thing is like straight from Super Sponge. Why are you telling me this message off? But how's that? Why? How? Yeah, they like the. This reminds me of the awkward appearance of. Oh, that's actually an XL. The awkward appearance of the. What's it called? Of the stingers on the bottom. Okay, can drop through these. Wasn't sure. The awkward appearance of the singers at the bottom reminds me a lot of the jellyfish from jellyfish boss from Super Sponge. Hmm. What are you doing? Look, it's done. Just let me do that. I did only just now lose. One point of health. I've hit it before. 
There you go. Why is it only just now losing health? Might as well, if I have a chance. This is weird. Oh, it's not the case. Alright, and this should be the last one here. It's probably going to drop down as it goes to me. It has a half a heart left. Seriously, game? You're really going to do that to me? This is cheap. Go over here. Come on. You're not accomplishing anything down there. Or up there. Okay. Not sure that was here. Or why it had proof of Atlantis inside of it. Or how this proves Atlantis. Oh dear. No, it doesn't. We don't know what's wrong with Atlantis at all. Okay. Share game. Well, there's not really much more to be done in terms of searching for stuff to do. At least right now, since we've pretty much explored every place we can go through as Mr. Krabs and Patrick. Once we get Sandy, that'll change. And we'll be able to cross some gaps that'll get us, like that one above, and another one past the museum. That allow us get some extra experience if we feel like it. So up we go. Not up that way, though. I don't really know why I would want. Eh, well, as I say this. Yeah, actually, the scraps up attack is actually useful. Is there, I mean, look. Patrick also has some pretty serious range with his tongue, but even so. I can't even hurt things just by starting the attack like that. Oh, come on. Really, King? Why do you give me these awkward jumps? So many of them. Free and not do that. Jeez, barely make it every time. Alright, so up to Sandy though. Is that a boss fight this time? Why are we still. Why are we. I like how. Are we just having the entire conversation this way? Like, Snow John and Patrick freaking out, Mr. Krabs doing whatever that is, Sandy just floating in the air the whole time. Thanks. Okay, that was nice. Oh, we're actually here. Wait, I guess I'll just have to go back at manually at some point if I want to to do whatever Sandy does to let you glide across that or something. I guess we won't worry about that for now. I might end up forgetting because I'm going to have to end the recording session here at the end of this cutscene. We're going to have a mini game momentarily. I think it's going to be another Crabs Flying on Money minigame too, judging by the picture we saw on the Crusty Crab. It's basically the exact same machine that we showed Sandy, actually. Uh-huh. Why Desire specifically? Oh, jeez. Alright, see you guys.